Hi, I'm Mark with another two minute video. In this video, I'm going to show you how a contactor works. In front of me, I have three different styles of contactor. A single pole, a double pole, and a triple pole. And you can tell the difference by the number of contacts on each one. This one has one set of contacts, two sets, three sets. For some reason, they always put a solid set on a single one, so don't let that throw you. How a contactor works is power from a 24 volt transformer activates a coil in the bottom of the contactor. That coil is a big magnet and it pulls these contacts down. You will find contactors a lot in air conditioning equipment and in some electric furnaces. All right, so to test the contactors, we're going to test for continuity. When this coil pulls down this set of contacts, I should have power going across here. To check for continuity, we're going to use this meter. If I put the two ends together, the meter beeps. That tells me I have a complete circuit. That's what we're checking for. Okay, so let's put a lead on each side of our contactor. To test this contactor, I'm going to activate this transformer with this switch. When I activate it, it's going to pull this set of contacts down and create a circuit. The contacts went down. We have a complete circuit, as you can tell by the buzzer from the meter. What happens when these go bad, if your equipment's always running and not shutting off, that means that this is stuck down and not coming back up. Or if your equipment isn't coming on at all, it may mean your coil is bad and not able to pull down those contacts. So the simple solution is just to replace the contactor. And that's what you need to know about contactors.